Um, the idea originally came about when uh, I, I had the feature film written, Love Suits the Seasons, and um, my partner and I, Marcus, decided that we wanted to promote the feature film. Um, we had a, a mass rush of people who were interested in the project. The, the, I believe the first people we started auditioning was, was for the role of Derek. We looked at these people who were auditioning who were hadn't gotten their break yet. The decisions were, were very, very were tough because we had so many talented people come through. The uh, character of Derek, like I said, we had a lot, a lot of talented people come through, but there was, um, there was, there was something special about Doug, I, I remember. Even the day he came through, um, you know, talking to him after and the fact that he wanted to stay and even help out, well, um, help other people out, um, really meant a lot to us. I mean, that, spoke a lot to his character as a person and, and a lot of what we do here at Kind of Class Films is we, 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 we focus a lot on people's character as well as their talent and that really really stuck out to us. And then we went on to um, the cast of um, Soul which um, it was you know we, it was kind of hard to find, trying to find somebody that who physically fit her you know. And uh, we didn't get that many people that were that fit um, the character that we were looking for when it came to casting um, that role. So what we did was we took um, Claudia, who auditioned for Casey, and put her in the role of Soul um, at the end of the day because she was so talented. She could have did both um, very, very well. Just amazingly talented person, somebody we just uh, you know knew that would come to the film and, and bring life to that character. I remember when we cast for Casey, um, I think I was the only one there that day. Um, I don't think anybody can make it that, that particular day. I remember she came in, um, I believe uh, her, her boyfriend was with her, and um, you know I, I read with her and I was blown away, like seriously blown away. I was like, there was no question in my mind when she left um, that day that she was going to play that role because she nailed it, I mean, totally nailed it. Being able to, once you've cast it, and being able to work with the actors that you've cast, and to begin to see them do their thing, to step into the moment of the scene, and bring the scene alive, you know what I'm saying? And to be able to, you know, help, you know, with the, you know, providing direction and stuff like that, and, and so it was a really um, great thing. The chemistry was good with everybody. There was a lot of color to this character, and I like that about Derek, because, I think anyone in his circumstance could have very easily been prey to a lot of the same challenges that he had. And the dynamic between him and his father was powerful. So when I was reading over the script, I was like, man, you know, Derek may have a little sensitive side, but he's got a little dark side too. He does, because he's seen some things, he's experienced some things. And I wanted to have that dark side sort of come out at the appropriate times, because I think he wasn't perfect, man. Nobody is. You know, people are... are not perfect so um, for me that's that's what really attracted me to the character it was our first it was my first time assistant directing it was Sequan's first time um, directing you know um, a short film and um, it was God just brought things together we got this thing done in a matter of about three days you know you know Doug and I driving all over Los Angeles man uh, trying to find a park with a bench you would be surprised how many parks in Los Angeles do not have benches. It is absolutely absurd. It's nuts. Los Angeles get you some get you some benches in your parks. But uh, we, we, we did, I actually had to be a couple of days. We drove around and uh, we saw a few different places. Um, but, um, we ended up finding this place in Glendale, um, Nibley Park, that was um, beautiful. I mean, it just it just really, really worked. And I, you know, we went out for some rides. It was hard trying to find that park, but we found it. And when we did, um, slowly but surely, the film, the look of the film, and the set locations were getting, uh, uh, were just coming together really well. The scenes. I, I'm a really romantic type person, and one of the things I like about the project because it deals. It's a it's a drama. I love drama, psycho thriller with the romance in there. And I love this scene. One of the things I do like is this is a night scene when um, when Derek is waiting 
for Soul, and she runs to him, you know. And we were we were shooting that scene in Alhambra that night, and it was just really good. She, you know, she run Derek, you know, stuff like that in her face and everything. But just shot so well, you know, it was it was it was good. And, and also, I like the scene um, when we shot at um, Theo's crib, you know, and that's where that was Casey's apartment. And and the scene when they were at the table. It was just so real, so natural, the flow, the dialogue, the relationship, the chemistry between the characters, you know, the tension. It was just really good. I mean, these actors were bomb. I'm telling you, a uh, challenging yet very, very fun process. Um, I'm the type of person where uh, if I tackle something new, I like to do all the research and I like to, to, to really dive into it and make sure I do things correctly. And um, I, I can remember, you know, reading books and, and going over different shots and, and just learning how to how to manage the set. Um, you know, how to go through as little setups as you can to get a particular scene done and stuff like that. And um, I think that I think the job w w was was done pretty well. I mean, uh, with, you know, we only had what three actual days of shooting. And about you know 30 pages of, of, of script that we got done so I think the time management thing um, worked out and in the midst of like you know all the schooling and everything she took it on uh, faith has been wonderful for us because uh, at the time there really there really weren't a whole lot of options uh, when we were kind of going through our Rolodex of people that we knew so when faith agreed to do it it was uh, a wonderful thing but she was also the right person too because the type of the nature of the film uh, the film was uh, it had a lot of a lot of emotional ups and downs and things like that throughout but like there was also like a lot there was very much a love story in it and uh, her personality I thought fit the type of I guess the appropriate leader for the editing process because she's a very you know beautiful person inside and out and I think that when you know you take on a movie you kind of have to have certain characteristics in you to find the storytelling as well. First of all, I like to thank um, everyone who participated um, in, in this film as far as location is concerned because we didn't have to pay for anything. Um, <laughs> um, we used uh, the coffee shop that we used. Um, I had to walk into this place one day and I said, um, I'm shooting this movie. Um, I like your place, can I shoot here? And uh, to this day, um, the people that own that place now are still, are still friends. And um, I just thank God that they're able to let us use their place. And they're very generous, very, very generous to us. Um, another place that we got was also um, one of Doug's uh, former places, his apartment where he used to live, which was a blessing in itself. Um, and then Doug had his friend Theo let us use his apartment, um, which ended up being Casey's apartment um, in the film. It just—it was just so wonderful to be able to work with people. Um, at the time, we weren't getting paid really you know, at all, no, but they were committed to it, and they saw a good script, and they dived in and gave it their all. That is artistry.